Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review. So, could you guys guess I said I was going to talk about another Synchro Monster? Yes, I'm going to be talking about Virgil today. I, I think that's so cute. Uh, it's cute, Konami. So, so Dante and, and Virgil, I get it. I, mean, I don't think that the lore in the card it has anything to do with Devil May Cry, you know, and Dante and Virgil, the brothers. I, I don't think so. I think it, it's more of on the actual story of, you know, Dante's Inferno, where Virgil is actually... Uh, kind of like a poet guide to Dante, but still, I like it. I like it how you did Dante and Virgil. So, uh, yes, we're going to be looking at Virgil, rock star of the Burning Abyss. So he he is a light spellcaster synchro effect, level six, with twenty five hundred attack and one thousand defense. So just Dante stats flipped. Okay. Uh, he's generic, so it's one tuner monster and one or more non tuner monsters, of course. Uh, so since he's light, that means yay more light for your BLS and your chaos sorcerers. Um, his effect reads: You can only control one Virgil Rockstar, the Burning Abyss. Okay, so I guess they kind of they should have kind of did that with uh, with Dante, but they decided to go ahead and fix that mistake with Virgil. So you can only have one Virgil on the field. There can only be one. Uh, once per turn, you can discard one Burning Abyss card, then target one card your opponent controls. Or in their graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck. So spin it. Spin that card. Whoop, right back into the deck. Of course, this target, so it's not like Tiramisu. It's more like. What is it? It's kind of like Castel, kind of like a, um, Cardinal. But yeah, spinning cards back to the deck is a very good effect. That's the best place you can send a card. You either put it back in the deck or you banish it. You know. And I'd say spinning it back to the deck is the best, you know, cause if, for example, if you banish my Terran Carnage, I still get Ultimate Nightmare, but if you spin Terran Carnage back to the deck, I do not get Ultimate Nightmare. So spinning back to the deck, I, in my opinion, is just really good. Not only do um, you, uh, you know, put it back into the deck where they pretty much can't access it again unless they draw it or search it, but you'll also have a chance to draw it, and it may not be the most opportune card to draw, you know. What if, for example, you spin back a... Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to speak hypothetically here. Uh, spin back like a Garunix or something, and they draw it, and they have no Yaksha, you know. Yeah. It's pretty opportune, inopportune time for it, so that, that effect's really good. There's other effects. Um, this card on the field is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to the graveyard. Draw one card. You can only use this effect of Regil, Rockstar, Burning Abyss, once per turn. Okay, so I, I really don't understand how you're going to use multiples of this I guess uh, I don't know maybe like call the haunted when your opponent plays MST then summon him to get destroyed and draw a card but his effect just drawing a card his effect doesn't seem that good to only want being able to use this effect only once per turn compared to all the other burning abyss you know, you know Dante is sent to the graveyard he gets to summon when uh, Sir when uh, when Skarn you know there's effects when they sent when they're sent to the dead they seem much better than him but Okay. And of course, this card has to be destroyed by battle or by card effect and sense of So it has to be destroyed. So, you know, if your opponent makes like a, I don't know, like a black ship and powers it up and sends it, or someone's like a dark end, you will not get the effect. So, uh, this, uh, this guy is pretty good. Pretty good. He's pretty good synchro. The only problem I'm trying to figure out is how the hell are you going to summon this guy? <laughs> you know, uh, we are to assume that Burning Abyss are going to be getting a tuner, of course. Uh, and the tuner monster can, this guy is so good that the tuner monster can literally just be like a normal tuner monster. He could literally be like a level three, uh, flame of guard and he would still be pretty good just because of this guy. But my only problem is, is that, you know, a lot of people are talking about, you know, Virgil and it's like, oh, it's so simple. You know how you make Dante where well, you just go tour guide, summon, and then XC right into Dante. Yeah. You know, you could go tour guide, and then summon the, the tuner and then synchro into, into Virgil. No, you can't. Did you forget about Tour Guide's effect? I know, I know a lot of us did. Tour Guide, the monster that's summoned by Tour Guide can't be used as Synchro material. So, yeah, you kind of forgot about that, didn't you? Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, the easiest way. I mean, I guess, of course, you can go like, oh, I control no backward, special summon, uh, one of my Burning Abyss monsters, normal summon, and then go Synchro summon right into Virgil. But, you know, that seems like a really early game play, unless you have like absolutely no back row the entire duel, which of course can be very hindrance, especially for Burning Abyss, because you know generally Burning Abyss is a deck that likes to run a lot of those discard very powerful traps like uh, you know Phoenix One Wound Blast and 
Um, I forgot the other one. <laughs> I forgot the other one. The one that, the one that banishes, I forgot the other one. Karma Kite, Karma Kite. Uh, so, you know, generally that deck likes to run back row, so uh, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out how the hell you're going to get these plays off. You know, a lot of people are talking about going, like, tour guide, summon tour guide, tour guide, summon, like, you know, one of your Burning Abyss, uh, return that Burning Abyss to your hand, special summon Birdman, and then Synchro Summon your Virgil, and that plan is all fine and dandy and all, the only problem is Birdman's at one. So, like I said, I'm trying to figure out how the hell you're going to do this. Uh, you know, consistently for Virgil to be really good, you know, if, you know, the monsters that can be, can be used as a synchro, you know, then that would be totally fine, I mean, that would be stupid, cause just go tour guide, summon something, Goyo guardian, run something over, or, you know, go and, and that's just generic, you know, of course with this guy, as long as you got burning the best, so, just like you can go into Goyo guardian, you can go into this guy, but, like I said, tour guide, can't go the tour guide route, so how the hell are you gonna do this? I don't know, I do not know. Um, you know, I heard people talking about maybe like Dark Resonator, something having like Dark Resonator, they attack, can't be destroyed by battle once per turn, then summon something and then synchro into Virgil, but I just don't know. I just don't know. <sighs> Nor do I really care, because I'm not really into Burning Abyss, so, you know, if they figure it out, more power to them, but I'm, I was just sitting here just thinking, just like, how the hell are you going to do this consistently enough for, to make Virgil good? <sighs> Damn you tour guide, why did you have to say that? Oh well. So tell me what you guys think about Virgil. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions on how to pull out this Synchro Summon consistently. Um, Crankrin. Crankrin, that might be it. They probably will play Crankrin. So they'll probably, you know, send the tuner to the graveyard. And then go Crankrin, Crankrin, summon back the tuner monster, Synchro Summon. Crankrin can be Synchro Summoned, right? I think so. Let me see. I believe that it can. Uh, Crane Crane. This card is normal summon. You can target one level three monster in your graveyard for some targets. Effects are negated. Yes, you can. So, uh, yeah, just Crane Crane, Crane Crane, summon back uh, the the tuner monster and then Synchro Summon right into uh, Virgil. So, there you go. So, no tour guide. Yes, Crane Crane. So, that gives them a reason to run Crane Crane because I know. A lot of people uh, in Burning Abyss were not running Crane Kern at all, so yeah, I think it's about time you put him back in the deck. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, once again, tell me what you guys think about uh, uh, Virgil here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Don't know what we're looking at, but we're of course going to be looking at a card, so uh, look forward to it. Thanks for watching.